Well, someone came to me through a private message and was asking, Sam, I want to hook up some side flashing turn signal indicators on my rear view mirrors on either side. I want to connect them to the turn signals. So uh, he wasn't sure of exactly how to do that. So I'm going to show you how because I thought it was a worthy uh, project for other folks that want to do it. So with the shop manual, I was able to determine which wires uh, are the ones we want to look at uh, for connecting to. Now, uh, I'm going to unplug the turn signal uh, plug on the right hand side. And you're going to notice there's three wires. Uh, and I want you to look on my shop manual. Terminal number one is the left turn signal, or, or the, it would be the right turn signal, or the left turn signal uh, indicator. So this one on the right hand side is a blue with a pink tracer. When the right turn signal is turned on, a battery voltage, a plus voltage, is applied to this lead, and the center lead is a ground. Uh, the battery voltage will go through the LED here and uh, to ground. Now, uh, we also have a side marker, which is this lead right here. It lights on and stays on the whole time. So that's uh, what we need uh, to keep the side markers going while the uh, flashing front light is, uh, is indicating our turn signal. So let's test this out and I'm going to show you. The thing you want to look at is you might not be able to see it in the video, but if you look very closely, a magnifying glass, you'll see terminal number one and three. Two is not marked, but it's ground. Okay, so let's go turn the, whoop, we'll go turn, that's not good for a test light. Uh, let's go turn the ignition to the on position and uh, we'll see what happens here. To the on position and now <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and turn the right turn signal on so we can see the voltage. It's on. And let me grab my test light. Hopefully. Uh, now, this is a good ground right here. And I'm looking for the battery coming in on plug number or pin number one, which is right there. So I come around here. <clears throat> And there's my light flashing. So I've got my turn signal there. So that would be the lead that you would connect to is that for the, for the right turn signal is the blue with pink wire and find a place in there that you can uh, splice into it and you'll be able to hook your, uh, your additional light and connect the other side to ground and it'll work fine. Now I'm going to plug this in and you'll see the side markers are going and you probably can see the flashing and everything of the front one. Okay, there's a couple of things uh, that are happening. Let's look at this green with pink tracer and see what's happening there. That's the side marker. It's on. And there's the uh, flasher. So we don't want to connect to this one or we just get a steady light. This is the one, number one pin. Uh, on this side is uh, blue with a pink tracer. On the other side, it's going to be on pin number one will be a blue, a solid blue wire. And you'll be home free. A perfect project, shouldn't take you long. The biggest thing is running your wires around and finding a good place to connect to this uh, pin number one wire. 
All right, good luck on your project. It sounds real good, and I may look into adding this myself. It'd be nice to have an indicator on the turn signal, uh, uh, on the rear view mirror. We couldn't miss it, and none of us will be driving around with our left blinker going. Okay, <clears throat> I think the man that uh, brought to that to my attention as a project, and uh, he sent it to me in a private message, so I'm not going to say any more about it unless he wants to comment about it. Uh, but uh, I thought the rest of us might like to uh, look at that idea. All right, good luck on your project. I think you can do it. Now make sure you get a LED type test light and not a conventional uh, um, uh, uh, high drain test light that uh, we're on the market a long time ago. This is uh, safe to use uh, on the slingshot.